Come on. Okay. So you're not an animal. You don't no. support. You don't support animal abuse. No, I don't. But you. But you aren't vegan. I'm not vegan. So how does that work? Well, I don't know. I how enjoy can meat? You enjoy meat. Yeah. Do you, you think that it. means that animals aren't abused for meat? Well, I don't think so. Generally. Have you seen a slaughterhouse before? Yes, I have slaughtered a ram before. You've slaughtered a sheep before, yeah. like a ram. Yeah. And and you don't think that that's abuse to cut someone's head off? No, the animals. It's not. It's not abuse. They're meant to be eaten. So if if they're meant to be killed and eaten, it's not abuse. No, it's not. So what do you define as abuse? <laughs> well, um, like what do you think abuse is? Look, well, if it was a human, put it in the human context. What's well, abuse? In the human context, that's different because um, humans have got a soul. They've got ways to think about things. Animals don't. Animals don't have a soul. Do you have evidence for that, or are you just going to declare it? This is kind of like an assumption, really. It's an assumption. Yeah. Yeah. But do you think animals can feel pain and suffer? Oh, sure, definitely. Okay. Yes. So, do you think it's moral to put them through pain and suffering if we don't have to? Well, if we don't have to, no. Yeah. So, like, I mean, even if they didn't suffer, let's just say they were raised without suffering. When we shoot them in the head and cut their throat open, is would you not consider that abuse? Well, this isn't that why they've got a better way of um, killing them um, in a slaughterhouse, not just by cutting them. Um, maybe electrify them or something, I don't know. Okay. Do you know what exploitation is? Exploitation? Yeah. You're taking advantage. So using someone, like, taking their yeah. rights away? Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Do you taking think that's advantage. okay? It's not, basically. Okay. okay. Do you think exploitation is, a, is abuse? In a way, yes. Okay, so what, you, what, 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 you, what well, you, you're trying to kind of put that into... Um, the animal context. Animal context, that's so kind of different, really. Because... Uh, because if we keep it on a, on a human context, yes, yeah. maybe. It makes more sense. It makes more sense, so yes. You don't think animals can be exploited? Well, I mean, it's... Um, say uh, people that kills them just for the fun of it, say... Um, poaching, um, killing them for medicines and thinking that um, an elephant tusk is um, it's a cure for something. So, that's so you'd say that's an unnecessary that's reason? That's unnecessary reason. Okay. So would um, you say eating meat's a necessary reason? It is a necessary reason. So you can't you live without eating animals? Well, I don't think I can. You don't think you can? You're staring at someone <laughs> who hasn't eaten animals for five years. Really? Well, I don't think I can. Do I look malnourished? Well, you don't. I mean, it's, I think it's a matter of choice, really, to be honest. I, I, I love it's a, it is a choice. It's a choice yeah. to exploit animals, isn't it? It's a choice as to what you eat and what you like. Yeah. I, I love meat. But that doesn't tell me whether or not it's animal abuse. Well, I wouldn't say it is, really, to be honest. I, I, I'll be honest. What, what do you mean? Say that again? I don't think it is. Um, if it's not just about killing them randomly or just shooting them just for the sake of it. I mean, for a purpose. To be eaten. Okay, so if I was going to kill and eat a dog... That wouldn't be uh, dog abuse? Uh, that would be... Uh, oh, that's disgusting. Killing dogs for... for no. That's your cultural indoctrination. Dogs uh, aren't food, are they? No, the dogs, what about pigs? You eat pigs? Well, I don't. Okay. You don't eat them? No, I don't. Do you uh, think gas chambering pigs is abuse? Gas chamber? A third of all pigs in the UK are gas chambered. Well, that's something else. That's, uh, that's an abuse. That's abuse? Yes. But this is the, one of the most humane methods for stunning pigs. Well, I don't think that's right, to be honest. Uh, you don't think this is right? Well, I don't eat pigs, but... Uh, you don't eat pigs, but we can talk about the other animals that you oh, eat. Oh, no, 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 this is suffering. This is, this is, this is what... Um, yeah, you, you don't take someone's life like this. You don't take, kill them like this. This is, this is real pain, really. The you, gas chambering them, they said yeah, it was humane. This is, this is really torture. This is torturing them to death. The, uh, the the industry told us this was humane. No, it's not. This but they is, told us it was. Well, I mean, that's their classification. Doesn't actually actually doesn't have to make sense to everyone. It doesn't make sense to me to kill animals like this. this Do you think they lied to us when they told us it was humane? That's a lie. That's that's a big lie. Okay. What about? Let's just go through the animals. See which ones you eat. Which ones do you eat? Dairy. What about cheese? Yeah, I do eat cheese. Do you know the process for milk? Yeah. What's the process? I don't know. Um, plug those things in. Oh, really? <laughs> <laughs> do you think milk just comes out of a cow without them having to do anything? Oh, well, I, I think possibly these ones are. But um, 
They're calves. Why would they be killing calves? Uh, Why would they be killing little cows? Like young cows? It's, it's, it's not justification for that. They're not even grown enough to well, be killed. Well, you know, the dairy industry, they, those cows have to be pregnant to produce milk. You know that, right? Yes. So what happens to their babies? They allow them to grow normally. The, 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 maybe the females, because they can produce milk. So what happens to the male? They can't produce milk for the industry. So they kill them off? Well, they either dispose of them and uh, they dispose of them a short time later, they kill them, or they might raise them for a little while, kill them a, a little bit older, or they might raise them for beef. Yeah, raise them for beef. Um, you think you're more you're happy with them being raised? I mean, they, they should go. I mean, go through the normal process, and you know. So what would you consider a young cow? They've got a lifespan of 25 years. 10 years old should still be a cow. Killed around two years old, so they're still really young. Oh my god, that's disgusting. That's uh, that's horrible. Yeah. That's not nice. Yeah. I'm just trying to get to a point where you're like, I want to know why you think paying for these industries to exist isn't animal abuse. I just want to know why you think that. Well, if I think about the way I love my own meat, that's something different, right? Um, I expect them to go through the normal process, grow the normal way, and what's the normal way? Please tell me. Stop being. Uh, I, I mean, can't. Like um, you're saying, normal and okay, like and grow normally, not kill them at two years old. It's pointless. What's what's the use if they, they kill get them, them to their full size and they kill them because if they keep them around any longer, they're using all the resources. The farmers have to pay for their food. They have to kill them and make profit from them. Yeah, I mean, if they killed um, after 20, um, 20 years for, for us to eat, to eat then that's so fine. So as long as they're a certain age, we can kill them and that makes it moral? Well, I mean, I, uh, I wouldn't say everything I'm saying is justified, but I love meat and I, yeah. I love eating it. I, I don't even think I can stop eating it. I used to eat meat. Like, do you think I used to? Well, I eat meat every day. So did I. Yeah, so... But I saw this and I didn't think it was right and I, I don't like to be... I don't I mean, like to lie to myself. We can always change the process. Um, we can always talk about the process that this has been done. So um, where do you get your meat from? From the... The shop. From the shop, of the butchers. Yeah, you follow those animals to the slaughterhouse? No. No, not in this country. So it's kind of weird in this country where you don't even know how they've been killed. Yeah. But where I come from, then you know how. Where do you come from? Originally, I'm a Nigerian. Nigeria. Yeah. And the animals are killed out on the street there and people are... They see that process. Okay. You see that process. Why do you think they hide it from the public here? Um, because they know what they're doing is not right, really. That's it. That's that's the whole like, reason. Because if, if they're being um, gassed, then that that's making no sense to me, to be honest. Yeah, what about hacked across the throat? Does that make more sense to you? Still 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 not good. Yeah. When still, when's the first time you've seen an animal be slaughtered? Oh wow. Oh, when I was like well, <laughs> Three years old, two years old, or oh, four, five, six years old. Yeah, I've seen it growing up. So how did it affect you? I, th I just think after a while it becomes a norm. Yeah, it just becomes something that's acceptable within within a particular culture. Did you cry, did you cry at the start or? It was kind of really shocking initially. Yes. Um, but I people mean, assured I, you that it was normal and it's that, fine. That's fine. Yes. But your intuition told you it wasn't. Well, yes. Yeah. I mean, I still don't feel like you know just um, tying something and putting it on the ground and slaughtering it is still the best way to, to take life from something. It's Why are we even doing it for? Oh, it's been around, I don't know. I, know. I know you like the taste of something, but do you think taste should justify someone's no. life being taken? No, no. Uh, you're making me feel bad now. <laughs> well, I'm just trying no, to find, get to no. the bottom of what you feel about it, no, you know? No, taste shouldn't. Taste yeah. shouldn't. Because you're, you're getting pleasure with taste. Taste is pleasure, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, it's a pleasure and response. Something I can do without. So you're so. getting a pleasure re response from someone getting their head cut off. And you know who else gets pleasure responses from things that are immoral? You know, in different contexts, uh, people that get um, pleasure from animal cruelty or abusing someone or raping someone, you know, these, these pleasure doesn't justify immoral moral acts, does it? No, it doesn't. Yeah. It doesn't. Um, yeah, it doesn't. I mean, like I've said, it's just something that's happened over the years and it's become numb. Yeah, yeah I'm not... You've been conditioned, so was I. Yeah, I'm but so... We don't think about it, do we? No, not, not as much. I mean, especially when you don't see where they come from yeah. and how they've been killed. So <laughs> yeah. you, you, you don't think about it that much. No. But if you see it, then I think that would send them the right message. But I don't think... Because we don't see it, then we don't really bother ourselves about... What happened? So if someone saw the animal that they were about to eat be shot in the head or be afraid it didn't want to die, they're in these, hung, hung up by their hoof and struggling for their life, this is a dairy cow being killed, 
um, if they were faced with this, these suffering animals drowning in their own blood, do you think they would think twice before buying animal products? Um, as humans, I think um, the, the, the initial response would be that. Um, and I think we just kind of get over things as, um, yeah. as we go along. If we don't see it anymore, then we'll go back I to I mean, you can be conditioned to violence. Think of soldiers. Think of like when I was, I, I'm an ex-gang member. So when I was in gangs, I, I conditioned myself to be in a violent environment. Mm. But that wasn't a natural or moral thing. But, yeah. but I just didn't see it as wrong because I'd been so heavily conditioned. But my intuition at the start, when I first seen someone get attacked, was like, whoa, this is scary, this that's is bad. I mean. So that's what I mean, like, even if people see this, after a little while, they just kind of forget about it. It doesn't really actually send them the right message. It's just about, oh, that's not fair, that's cruel, you shouldn't do that. Then people forget and people move on. It's like, a, it's like someone driving, and um, you're driving on M25, you see an accident, and you've been speeding all the way down till you, to you got to that point. Immediately you pass that and you drive about five, another five, ten minutes, then you forget about yeah, that and you carry on doing what you're doing. Yeah. So I think it's just that bit. Yeah. Um, um, and I think it's just um, that it's become a norm yeah. for, for us to eat meat. And um, it's we everywhere. It's culturally acceptable. It's acceptable. It's everywhere. There's Many not. bad things are culturally acceptable exactly. at one so, time. Yep. So, I mean, it's one of them. So I think we just need more awareness over it, to be yeah. honest. So, do you have uh, younger children? Those are my kids, yeah. yeah. And what would you think if they realised where meat came from? Do you think they'd want to...? Well, it depends. See, see, it depends on what what I say and what I sell out to them. You obviously wouldn't take them to a slaughterhouse to, to see where their food is made? Well, I could do. Depends on um, my... So you'd be repeating what happened to you as a little kid? Um, if I want to, if I really want to, like, give them a new idea as to not to eat it, then I could do that. Take them out to the slaughter house and say, look, this is not right. This yeah. is what happens. And so you would teach your so, children. So if I'm trying to like shift that culture from yeah. from being, from me being a norm yeah. to something that's not acceptable, then I can actually go down that route. Like you teach your child uh, ethics, like don't hit the dog, um, hurting animals is bad, hurting yeah. people is bad. Yeah. But if we feed them this this uh, flesh where they don't know what, where it come from, we're sort of giving them two different ideas aren't we yep that's that's correct yeah yeah i accept that but yeah. still so you be, so let's just say like with this sign here are you still do you still disagree with it because <laughs> when you pay for meat and, and animal products you you're, you're you're putting these places in business that's what i mean by support uh, well like i said you, I, you can agree with it and be a hypocrite I, that's what i did i, I don't i don't think I would stop eating meat to be honest yeah but do you I just want you I mean you I just want you to whether you disagree or agree with that statement you can agree with it and not be consistent but just the, but well I do agree to an extent yes yeah. so yeah. sure to an extent yes to an extent what's the, where's the end extent end <laughs> when it becomes survival situation yeah okay well you are you in one now no so why do you eat animals <laughs> I love so you like the taste <laughs> we're back at taste come on we already told you all right, brother. Here, All you right. know what? If you ever think about, um, okay, I'm coming. If you ever think about doing a vegan challenge, and please don't it's vegan challenge. Please, oh, please don't show your child a slaughterhouse. <laughs> 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 See you, brother.